Hi friends, how are you? In today's um, video, I'm going to be refinishing this gorgeous, gorgeous hutch and I think I will be keeping this one because I've been telling my husband that I want one and I think I found, uh, in the last video I have told you that I wanted to keep the, the, the one hutch that I've re redone a few episodes earlier and I really wanted to keep it but I, I just did not have a space because it was quite wide but this one is actually a perfect size so I may be keeping it, I don't 100% know but I think I may be keeping this. But nevertheless, I'm extremely excited to show you the makeover of this piece and go ahead, stick around. And if I do keep it, it's my, my Mother's Day gift to myself. All right, let's go ahead and see how this turns out. school when they met and things got kind of awkward I started by removing all the hardware and I will be keeping majority of it so I just set it aside in a bag so I can refinish it also there was troubleshooting with the, the there had been light at the top so I was trying to remove that as well together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I Once I was done removing hardware, I set everything inside And started uh, by removing uh, the top layer with the fine grid sandpaper And um what did I not mention is that I did strip this piece beforehand, so um, it was just an easy sand this time. <laughs> but um, yeah, just a 150 grit sandpaper, and on the edges I'm doing it by hand as well, and you know, lightly sanding it beef and staining it with silver gray uh, by very thin stain. Ooh, it's true. And then he said, I wrote you a love song. I tried to make it beautiful. Sorry guys, no makeup Monday today. <laughs> uh, anyway, I have, you know, put some plastic potty in you know, pieces where, you know, the screws were before just so I can, you know, paint over it without having any holes coming out. And I'm sorry, my brain is not working today at all for some reason. I'm going to go ahead and scuff sand all over, sand down all the fillings that I did and remove the backboard. I figured it would be way easier to put uh, wallpaper on it if it's removed and I think it will give me better, um, how do I, what's the word for it, you know, better way to get in and get some crevices that have better access to paint everything nicely. But I'm going to go ahead and show you how I do it on the hutch, on uh, top of the hutch and the bottom. I'm not going to show you how I scuff center. I'm just going to tell you all once I start painting. All right, let's go ahead. Beautiful. It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart and how nobody can steal me away. Yeah, I am your horse because I want you and I wanted you to know. After I scuffed center with 150 grit sandpaper, I start. I, I, put, I was trying to spray my crop cutter on it, but my sprayer for some reason broke, so I just uh, dampened my rag with it and applied it generously all over the place, um, letting it sit for about 20 minutes or so before going um, ahead and wiping it down with a um, rag and you know rinsing it periodically. Calling each other sweetheart I promise nobody can get in their way Or steal the show They're in love now And I wanted you to know As much as I'm happy how good they built 
this. <laughs> Not happy about this. Oh my gosh. That's what comes with the territory. I feel like my hands are always so banged up. Oh my goodness. I see some <laughs> furniture refinishing people. I think Katya. Her hands are always so like manicured and well done. And I'm like, how? <laughs> I'm stronger than you. I'm just letting you know that, right? No, right? <laughs> I told you I was stronger than you. How dare it's questioning? <laughs> How dare? And I'm stronger than you too. Yeah, sometimes I talk to my furniture. Sometimes. <laughs> Maybe I need to get checked out. <laughs> oh. Do you guys ever talk to your furniture? <laughs> Take it away, take it away, feeling too good to me Chilling all day, all in your space is where I want to be Here in this room, what did you do? I just can't get enough Too caught up in your love I've been Okay, let's do something fun Yep, I am definitely upside down If you... Go ahead and comment what movie that's from, who says that quote from that movie. I will give you $10 for coffee and or donut, whatever you want to do. Uh, just give me your Venmo, uh, comment below who it is, give me your Venmo information and, or Zelle information and I'll send you 10 bucks. But if you don't have to be a subscriber, I just thought something fun we could do. It's, you know, just to have you guys participate with me. But yeah. Yep, I'm definitely upside down. I thought it would refer so well to this piece. And once you come and I'll let you know where it's from, you'll get 10 bucks. Trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain wants you. Guys, you'd be so proud of me. I am not using Rustoleum Chuck Pain this time. I thought, you know. Back in the day when I refinished furniture, I used to use the Walmart brand by, Waver, by Waverly. It wouldn't be me if I didn't butcher the words, would it? But yeah, I thought I was going to go ahead and use that color. It had just enough of a tint of brown and gray with slightly tint of purple, um, you know, and um, it's called Elephant Gray, I believe. But anyway, yep, I'm mean, just using that brand just in case you like the color and wanted to check it out. It's um, Elephant Gray by Wa Waverly, currently sold at Walmart. And I'm just going to hop around and paint it. All that I crave when you're away, nights are sleepless. Do we need space? Yeah, maybe you're brave. Boy, you're my weakness. Giving we take the love that we make It's my favorite drug Too caught up in your love I've been trying to forget But you won't let me Something in my brain holds you I've been A trick to use an old card bo box to, uh, For um, Sticking your screws and whatchamacallit And nails that you need to paint for the hardware. I'll be using the, this one to watch my call it, pa spray paint it with, and then this is to seal with. Hanging by myself, asking for help, but nothing seems to work on you. Yeah. Alright guys, so now that I cleaned this piece out, scuff sanded it while some pieces are drying, well some just, oh I just wanted to sit for a bit before I start painting it, I'm gonna seal the top of this. be 
be using the poly one coat, but I'm gonna do three for this. Okay guys, now that this piece has two coats of paint, sealed three coats of, so the whole piece has two coats of paint. This has been sealed with three coats of poly. Now we're going to go ahead and let all of that, well, this is dry, but now we're waiting for those two to dry. This has been drying for over 24 hours. Obviously I don't want, I want a long durability and wear on this piece, so I'm taking my time with it. But um, like I said, this has been dry for 24 hours. Now this has second coat. We're just going to go ahead and leave it till the morning for a little bit of a distress and sealing and putting on the hardware. I was very lightly distressing this piece. I just wanted to get the distress area just on the sharp edges of the, you know, drawers or the frame of uh, of the hutch. Like I said, just as you can see the very sharp edges of it. And I was using 150 grit sandpaper to just slightly scuff them up. Stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away. Show us where we are. All right, now that everything is dry, has been distressed, it is ready to be sealed. And you guys already know I'm using Jolie wax to seal this piece. I just love their wax, it is such a good quality wax. No, I'm not getting paid for this. I'm not even getting paid for ads. <laughs> None of that. Just, I just really, truly do love the product. But yeah, I'm just going over, sealing it all over. And you guys, you know, spreading the wax always, always takes your t take your time, spread it evenly, and you know, take time spreading because it is a little tough, you know, especially this type of wax to spread. But best advice: always take time, and you'll get a great result. Well, I probably did not disclose, but the hutch had a shelf originally in the middle of the top of it uh, that was glass. And I don't like the look of the glass, so I'm using this board. It's actually um, a stair uh, thread. So it's actually, and one of the actual tricks, if you want to buy uh, wood for shelving or whatnot, and you want it to be a decent wood, that's the way to go. It's way, way, way more economical than buying lumber in large um, scales for a wood shelving. But my children won't let me record. But let's go ahead and have this sealed. It's already been stained, the light weather gray color. And yeah. Could it be to make the ground shine like cold until winter comes? Until winter comes? To winter comes It really makes me wonder Yeah, it makes me wonder So, the shelf is now in Yeah, we're gonna be working on the rest Wonder It really makes me wonder 
for the backing of the top of the hutch I'm using the peel and stick wallpaper and at Walmart they're pretty cheap actually to buy but uh, I can't recall how much but you know I really like this color and design so I figured why not you know yep I'm just applying this up and I will be putting it up and, um, to the back of the top of the hutch how come the stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away and show us where we are it really makes me wonder that I have put all the hardware and uh, now I'm finishing up putting all the drawers in and I put the back in on the, um, the with the wallpaper for the top of the hutch I am getting ready to stage and decorate it Also, I was on hand for a few beautiful pieces to decorate with and those are some of those pieces I have found at local Goodwill. I tried uh, TJ Maxx and other places but I couldn't quite find what I was looking for and I did find some at Goodwill so I was pretty happy. Funny thing is, the other day I was scrolling through Facebook and I saw the quote and it says the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do, Steve Jobs. And you know, we always strive to make a change and you know, sometimes we think of those people that, you know, work towards it oh that person is crazy that's never gonna happen but truth be told that if you really truly believe into something and are striving to change the world or circumstance you are in it oftentimes actually does happen so i think you know we just have to be those crazy people who think that we can make a change i don't know just something penny for a thought anyway <laughs> This gorgeous piece let's see what it looked like before and let's go ahead and take a look at it after it was never a bad piece but with a little bit of a TLC oh my goodness it just turned into such a lovely piece and I am so happy I will be keeping this one <laughs> I have a place for um, I'm not ready to put it to but um, I have a place ready for it once I'm ready to put it there I will be of course sharing it with you guys but I just I'm obsessed with how it turned uh, out let me know what you think always don't forget to comment and you know let me know your thoughts I'm going to go ahead uh, put a couple pictures up because I like to keep it for my portfolio you know Thank you so much for joining me on this video today thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and visit me on instagram under week one also the whole month of june each week i would be giving doing small giveaways for instance this week coming up i am doing a giveaway as well so just um, follow the instructions for a giveaway and you will be receiving your giveaway thank you have a good one